Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Yolanda Maria, if this is your first time here. So y'all, today is going to be an entrepreneur life vlog. I have not done an entrepreneur life video in so freaking long and it is time. So I have finished packaging and shipping out all the Black Friday orders um, from my store and now it is time to restock. So while I um, am going to be restocking, I wanted to share a device that really, really helped me out during Black Friday, right before Black Friday, I was having like a crisis. <laughs> so um, I found a device on Amazon that really, really helped me out. And I wanted to share that with you guys today to help out other entrepreneurs that may be struggling with putting labels on their products. So I'm going to turn my camera around real quick. So this is what my shelves are looking like <laughs> as far as my inventory, y'all. I have basically no inventory i really i need to go ahead and fold up some more boxes all my larger boxes are gone these are my medium sized boxes uh, my smaller boxes so um this whole area before black friday was full of my hair growth serums these are my extra strength hair growth serums all, all i have is two left and this side was all of my regular strength hair growth oil and all of them are gone um <laughs> down here was my conditioner so this section right here was my 12 ounce conditioners and then this side is my eight ounce conditioners and i have two eight ounce conditioners left and these are just my empty um my empty jars and my empty bottles for my hair growth serum so the shampoo and conditioner these are two these were two black friday launches these were new products added to my store and I had just launched them for Black Friday. So I did sell some of them. However, you know, of course it was a new product. Everybody was just finding out about it for Black Friday. So those did not sell out, but that is okay. Like I said, this is a new product. So what I want to show you guys is the fact that y'all this right here, do you guys see how big this, this is like an eight inch. If I'm not mistaken, this is an eight inch label. So I messed up about over a dozen bottles trying to get these labels straight trying to get them flat trying to get them even y'all <laughs> they were crooked all over i mean all the conditioner labels have bubbles in them so i found a device on amazon that helped me get all of my labels straight and flat to the bottles so i want to show that to you guys so one second let me get it set up okay so hopefully y'all can see me real good i tried to close the blinds up because the sun was coming in so strong so yes y'all um i found this device and i'm gonna go into detail about it here soon and show you guys a few things so my hair growth serum my label is pretty easy to you know pretty much put labels on these straight. Um, sometimes I do have them a little, they are a little crooked sometimes, but 90% of the time I'm pretty good on getting labels on pretty straight on these bottles. Um, and then my conditioners, the conditioner is also um, an eight, a eight inch label. So it wraps all the way, it's a wrap around. And getting these straight, y'all, sometimes it is a very, very difficult to make sure that these are straight. And then I have my new products. I did not know that um, it was gonna be such a struggle. Apparently the larger label, the larger you go, the um, harder it is. Now I researched um, label applicators and the automatic label applicators that put these on perfectly, there's an automatic kind of like a machine um, that you purchase was about 15 to 1800 dollars yeah i wasn't ready to spend that kind of money right now so i kept trying to do it myself 
I literally messed up um, about, um, like I said, over a dozen. It probably was about 14 or 15 bottles trying to get these labels on and I ended up having to throw them away because I, I didn't feel comfortable having a customer receive, you know, um, a label that's crooked and then this part is down, this part was up. It was just horrible. Um, so yeah, so I had to find something to make sure that this got really, really straight um, on it. So yeah, I want to show you guys that because there may be some other entrepreneurs that are also having the same struggles or trying to figure out how to get labels extra straight without breaking the bank. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to demonstrate how to put a label on a hair growth oil, um, a shampoo conditioner bottle, as well as my eight ounce conditioner. Now you can do this on any size bottle. I mean, I even saw wine bottles um, being used on the actual, um, I don't feel like this particular product has been talked about enough because when I found it um, on Google, I actually did a search and found it on Google. And then when I went to YouTube, there was only like two videos on this product and one of them was from the actual company who made it. So I don't feel like enough people have been talking about this particular product. So I am going to go ahead and talk about it on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys. Okay, y'all. So this is the device. It is called the Label Wizard Adjustable. Um, I know it looks like just a piece of nothing, but this thing saved my life, especially before Black Friday. I wanted to launch um, a product, my new shampoo and conditioner, and yeah, I was just devastated when I couldn't get the labels on correctly. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys how this works. Um, I just got it right before Black Friday, so I can't go into too much detail about it, but it's pretty simple. Um, what you will be doing is the measurements are right here as to where you want the label to stop at the end. It also has an adjustable lever, like where you can take this out for bigger bottles. So I like literally saw people with wine bottles on this, so it gives enough space for an actual um, a wine bottle, but for this, for you know, I'm using it for hair products, so you can actually take it up to this level, which is perfect for the hair growth serum bottles, and you can also take it down to a lower level, which is perfect for my other, like any other bottles that you want to use. That maybe I'm trying to think if I use this, yeah, for this one. So as far as the shampoo um, bottles, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I go ahead and put a label on the shampoo bottles. So my labels, again, I wanna say these are eight by fives. I'm not positive, don't quote me on that, but they're pretty large size. I did read the reviews on Amazon and there were several people that absolutely loved this particular device. It is not for speed. The automatic ones are for speed and accuracy. However, this is not for speed. You have to do one at a time and it is time consuming, but if you are not somebody who is selling thousands of bottles a day, just take one day to put all your labels on. That's what I did. I took one day, a couple hours, and just sat there and put labels on bottles. So it really worked out great for me. So. I did see a comment on Amazon saying that the labels or this particular device did not stop bubbles from coming up, like air bubbles from being in these. So because I saw that comment, yes, the accuracy is right, but because I saw that comment, I knew that I was gonna need something to kind of smooth it down. So what I did was use an old credit card. This credit card is expired, <laughs> but I kept it. And what I'm gonna do is use that to smooth it down. And that's what I did the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate me putting one of these labels on. So what I was saying about where you want your measurement to stop, where you want your label to stop at. So you actually, take your bottle, put it up against the end. It is tilted. As you guys can see, there's nothing at the back side. This allows it to 
stay put so that it's not rolling forward. It's tilted back on purpose so that the bottle or jar that you're using would rest on the back of it. And then you have a measuring scale where you can measure where you want your label to be at. Now I did move this, so I gotta actually figure out where, I'm gonna put this up against it and see where it was because I did do some other jars and I changed the size or where it's gonna be. So on the back side, this is what allows it to slide. I mean, I literally don't know who came up with this, but this was amazing. It has a patent number on it. Like whoever patented it, it has a patent number here, but this was an amazing idea and I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure whoever owned this is has became a millionaire. So, I'm thinking that this was on the maybe like a half. Okay, maybe not. Um this must have been on the 1 inch. Okay. So yeah, there it go. So wherever you want this to end on your bottle, that's where you put this. So if you guys can see, the one inch is right here and that's where I had the label start. So one inch from the bottom of whatever jar you're using. So then you go ahead and tighten it up on the back so it stays put. Now what I do, I do not put the bottle on first. I've learned that these particular labels, whatever it sticks to, it's not moving or it's just gonna rip right off. Um, sorry y'all, if y'all saw a little gnat, I think a little gnat flew by. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my label across here. So this right here is where you lay your label. So you kind of rest your label against that bar right where you, and it's a red line, right up against that. And like I said, this is not for time. This is for accuracy. I take my bottle or jar, lay it, and then I lay it across and I just smooth that into that and now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of use this as like a kind of like a squeegee but not so I'm just going to be pushing this on both sides then I take it off move it to the side now the accuracy is fine you already got the accuracy. Now it's just about making sure those bubbles do not form. So I'm kind of smoothing this against the bottle. And then do it to the other side. And that is it, y'all. It is a perfect, it is perfectly aligned and no bubbles. So I'm gonna do this to my eight ounce conditioner jar so that you can see, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do it to the eight ounce conditioner jar so you can see how that works as well. So the eight ounce conditioner labels, these are about 11 inches long. And again, it is a wrap around for this jar. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I usually also don't have a lot of trouble making sure that these are accurate without this device. But again, I prefer for my labels to not be crooked and really be flat to the bottle. And just, I like the presentation to be really good when it comes to my products. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this device. This particular, because of the height or the thickness of this, I'm going to remove this, the second level and lay this right here. Now, because of where I want the label to start on the bottom, I am going to go ahead and adjust this, twisting it in the back and sliding it down to where I want the label to start on my jar. And 
I think I want to start at the half, yeah. I want it to start at the half and then tighten it back up so it doesn't move. I'm going to remove the jar because, again, I like to go ahead and get the label line up because if my label was to touch the jar while it's here and I'm trying to get it lined up, it will immediately stick to the jar and won't move. And I have also ripped some of my labels because of that. So I'd rather go ahead and get it aligned up with this first. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the red line. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so you guys can see it. You guys see that it is lined up with this red line. And then I'm going to bring the jar over. Let's see, actually, I need this to go up. Let me see where I had this. Before I lay it down, I'm thinking I want this a little lower, honestly. I'm gonna bring that down, right to right there. And I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand and <laughs> All right, I'm gonna line that back up. So you do wanna make sure that you have that accuracy of where you want it to lay on the bottle. All right, I think that's where I want it to lay. Yes, that's where I want it to lay. And then I just lay it over like that. And then I pull it off. And I go ahead and smooth it around with my finger. To make sure no bubbles are coming up and if it is crooked let me tell you guys if it's crooked on here it's going to be crooked on your bottle or jar so i honestly don't know how straight i got that on there but it's pretty darn close so you see how it is a little off I think I had the one side um, a little forward more than the other side. However you have it lined up is how it's gonna show up on your bottle or jar. So I noticed that it was a little crooked once I laid it down, but you know, this is okay. Um, this is not too bad to send to a customer, but you guys get the gist. However you lay it on here, it must be flush to the back side of this. I did notice after I was already wrapping it that it was a little off but this will this is fine um, to send to a customer so next i'm going to go ahead and show you a hair growth oil bottle how i put it on there because of the size of the hair growth oil i needed to go ahead and put the leveler or um i guess this is like a shelf adjuster i don't know what this part is called but you guys <laughs> see what i'm talking about put this on here because of the height and we're gonna go ahead and put the label so I think I want this one just a little bit higher up yeah so right at the half inch here I'm gonna go ahead and put that line that up there and then tighten it down So again, I usually do not use the this device for, this is just a two by four size label. So really doesn't, you know, it's pretty easy to put a label, a two by four label. But just for demonstration purposes, that's why I am doing this. All right, so I have that line up. It looks like it's a little crooked actually. All right, so there it is. I have it lined up and I'm gonna add the bottle. Then lay it over top of this. And I don't need to use the credit card or anything for this size of a bottle. 
and you're really pushing it in because you want to get all the air bubbles out. And that's it. And now you have it is even on both sides. So again, I just wanted to show you guys this particular device, how I got all of these on here perfectly straight, pretty much. This one was a little crooked, but you guys got the gist of it. Um, I wanted to show this for you guys because again, I had trouble and in case somebody else has like a hair care line, skincare line, or any other type of products that you may need something like this for to get your labels to lay straight and to um, be accurate against each other. I wanted to demonstrate this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love this entrepreneur life <laughs> topic. And make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. I will leave the link in the description box below to this device. And whoever created this, thank you so, so much. It really saved. Um, I want to say this was only 50 bucks. So again, I looked up the automated ones. I did see several people using the automated ones however those were up to eighteen hundred dollars between fifteen and eighteen hundred dollars this was around 50 bucks and because i needed it so quickly uh, for black friday you know i had it within two days of me ordering it so i will leave the link in the description box below make sure you comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video